Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of trailer explanation. In this video, we are going to cover unit fix access issues in a flow from the module flow troubleshooting. So here in this unit challenge, uh, we are going to use the same developer edition org which we created as part of first units challenge. So make sure the org that you are going to launch from here is the same that you created in this modules unit one. Now here in this unit challenge, we are going to debug a flow as a different user. We are going to enable some permission in order to debug as a different user. And we are going to fix certain issues uh, with the user permissions in our flow, which is already present and created in our special developer edition org by the name create a case. So let's quickly launch our trailer playground and see how we can proceed with this units challenge. So I've already launched my flow. The very first thing that we have to do is enable the permission, let admins debug flows as other user. So how we can do that, you have to go to your home setup in quick find, just search for process automation uh, here. And this is going to filter out the option process automation settings. So select this setting. Now here, the very first thing that you have to do is the user you have to select for this set for whom this setting is going to work. So right now I have selected my own user by which I'm logged in. So in order to select other user, you can just go to this uh, magnifying glass and this is where you can search for the user. But as part of this challenge, you have to select your very own user by which you are logged in into this org. So this is the user I'm using uh, as in uh, to complete this challenge. So here I have selected the same user name from here. Now, if you will scroll down to the bottom, there is the setting, let admins debug flow as other user. Select this uh, checkbox and click on save. So we have updated our setting in order to debug as other user. Now, what we have to do is we have to go to our flow, click on flow in the, uh, home setup and there is this flow create a case already created so just quickly open this up and this is going to open the flow builder where our case has already uh, where our flow has already been created now the very first thing here we have to do is we have to debug it so just quickly click on this debug button on top right now here uh, we have to debug as different user or another user so there is this option coming up uh, run flow as another user this option is showing only because we enabled the setting let admin run flow as different user a few seconds back so this is why this option is coming over here uh, select this and select mario user mario cruise from here as this is the part of the challenge that we have to use mario cruise as our running user now here uh, in order to test uh, what error we are getting we have to first of all fill out any detail let's say test last name is also test click on next uh test at the rate org.com is email now phone number any number i'm giving over here click on next case type let's say it's mechanical origin it's phone case subject let's say it's again test case detail i'm giving out as test again now click on next now here if you will notice we have got one error uh, which states that unhandled fault has occurred in this flow now what actual error we are getting is if you go to your debug details there failed to create record the record couldn't be created and this error occurred when the flow tried to create records that means the user mario cruz by which we were running uh, the flow does not have create record on case object permission so what what next we have to do is if you will see over here uh review the flow error results we have reviewed now assign the appropriate permission set to mario cruz so that the flow works for him now we have to assign a permission set to this mario cruz uh, by which we are uh, we were running our flow uh, so what permission set need to be assigned? So if you go to home setup again and in quick find, just search for permission, select permission sets. And over here, there is this permission create case. Select this permission uh, set over here, then go to manage assignment. And here we are going to assign, uh, click on add assignment. And here we are going to assign this permission set 
to Mario Cruz user. So right now we are in a recently viewed list view. We have to change it to either add uh, active users or all users. It's up to you. Uh, I'm going to select active users. And if you will notice over here, there is this Mario Cruz user coming up. So select this. And if you will scroll a little bit, there is this next button coming up. So select this next button, click on assign. And this permission set to create a case after clicking on done will be assigned to our user Mario Cruz by which we are running or debugging our flow. So here we have uh, just assigned that permission set. Now, next thing we have to do is we have to run again or debug our flow again with all these details mentioned over here. So let's quickly close our uh, error screen and go to our flow again, click on debug. Again, uh, select the run flow as another user, select Mario again. So now this flow will run with all the permission that has been assigned to Mario Cruz. Earlier, Mario Cruz doesn't has the had the permission to create case, but now we have assigned a permission set to him. Let's see whether we still uh, face this issue or not. So the first name that we have to give is Avi and last name is Green. So let's quickly paste this over here. Type Green over here in the last name text area. Click on next email. I'll say it's uh, Mario at the rate example.com. This is the email that I'm giving over here. Then phone number is given in the challenge. So I will just copy this phone number from the challenge itself. Go back to your case debug and paste this uh, in the phone number text area. Now click on next. Here case type, nothing is mentioned in the challenge. So I'm selecting mechanical case origin, let's say phone. Case subject is given out in the challenge. So I will copy this broken laptop and go back to your case. Uh, let's paste this in the case subject text area and case details is faulty power button. So I will go back there and paste this in the case detail text area. Click on next. Now, if everything works fine, this should create a case and boom, our case has been created. Uh, by this ID. Now, if you see this debug logs over here, the record is ready to be created when the next screen. So our record has been successfully found record it has been created. Now, if I just go back uh, to my app launcher and from here, if I just go to cases, our case should be present there with the same case number, right? So let's quickly see uh, all cases. Let's say all uh, recently viewed cases. Okay, it's not coming up over here as well. Let's say open cases. And if I just, okay, there it is. Avi Green, this is the case which we created. Broken laptop is the subject which we given. And the case owner, if you will notice, it's Mario Cruz. So our case has been created and the case number is 1030. So if I'll just go there, there it is 1030. So the case has been created and now Mario Cruz is able to uh, create the case. So this was all the challenge. We have to fix this flow, create a case flow. So let's quickly check whether we have passed this challenge. Hopefully we should be able to uh, check all the parameters over here. Uh, so let's just wait. There you go. This unit has been completed. See you in the next video with another unit or module. Till then, take care. Thank you very much.